Remember that plane that used to be in that backyard? To really understand these three women, you have to know what happened in this home back in 1988. My grandmother was 40 when she died, and my mother was 40 when she died. And I'll turn 40 in February. It has been 23 years since their stepfather murdered their mother here. Our mom was working on her voice and expressing her voice by saying she wanted to leave her husband. And her voice was killed when he shot her in the head six times. Robert Jag is serving a 75 year sentence in prison for Linda Jag's murder. You look like her there. For the first time since the killing, Linda's three daughters sat down with her stepfather face to face in a Huntsville prison. So looking him in the eye and really talking about it really helped make it a reality and to sink in and to say, it happened, now it's time to move on. The sisters wouldn't reveal specifics, said they signed a confidentiality agreement, but admitted forgiveness remains out of reach and their own relationships still suffer. If you love someone, it's gonna get you killed because that's the mentality that we have from living with someone that we felt betrayed by. Their journey of healing took them to Kenya recently to shoot a documentary about gender inequality. They plan a foundation next aimed at helping women like their mother find a voice. She wouldn't talk to her friends about it. She wouldn't tell anyone that she was having problems. So no one knew, no one even knew that she needed help. And that's what her daughters want to change, to provide strength. She used to carry you everywhere. And prevent tragedy. Jason Whiteley, Channel 8 News.